Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to go over some Battlefield 3 Twitter news because I know there hasn't been a whole lot of new information, like large information, that has come out um, as of recently, but there has been some tidbits of information that the community managers at Dysonye have kind of given us, so I kind of wanted to make this video to dedicate to some Twitter news. So, uh, first off, apparently there is going to be a new hit registration system for Battlefield 3. I know a lot of people didn't really like the hit registration in Bad Company 2 because there would be a lot of problems where you would go for a shot, you would see blood come out of your enemy, and you wouldn't actually get a hit marker. And that was definitely very frustrating for users um, or players who use shotguns or sniper rifles, and it would get me killed a m a numerous times if I actually, uh, you know, did go for a headshot, didn't get the kill, then they, you know, turned around and shot me. So I'm glad to see that they're trying to refine uh, or build a new system which will hopefully be better than Bad Companies 2, and we won't have any problems. Uh, so up next, apparently there is going to be rewards for chopper pilots. Uh, we're not really sure what these rewards are going to be, but maybe it might be some sort of specializations because there's going to be, as we already know, there's going to be a lot of specializations for uh, vehicles in general. Um, they are saying that if you are, you know, lining up shots for your gunners, you're just being a good transport pilot, uh, you're going to be rewarded in some manner. And I really like this. I think that's great that DICE is further trying to implement or trying to promote uh, team, you know, team play and being not selfish and just doing your best to help your team out. Uh, I love that. I love that about the Battlefield series, and I'm glad to see that they are really doing it for every aspect of the game. Uh, inventory, vehicles, everything. I think it's fantastic. Uh, another thing that I thought was very cool is apparently for the spawning beacon, if you place it outside, when you spawn on it, you're actually going to come down and you're going to have to like have your parachute deployed. Um, so it's going to allow your enemies to know where you're at if it's not in a like, kind of a secluded area. Uh, I like this implementation because it's not going to allow players to constantly spawn on their spawning beacon and just flank their enemy constantly. Uh, without the enemy actually knowing where they're coming from. So I think it's it's good in that aspect and you're gonna have to be smart as to where you're actually placing it because you could put yourself in a vulnerable situation if you're constantly spawning like, you know, a couple feet away or not really a couple feet away, but you know what I mean. And it's gonna make it so they can't really abuse the system. Uh, but apparently if you place the spawning beacon indoors, you're gonna spawn instantly on the beacon. So, uh, but that kind of makes sense. That would kind of be ridiculous if you were, you know, flying down from, uh, you know, a parachute onto a building or something like that. Uh, but anyways, I think I, I really like this system. I'm interested to see how it plays out and to see if hopefully there isn't going to be any ways to abuse it. Uh, another thing they're bringing back is, I think this is also old news, but something I want to mention is that the Marksman bonus is back. And I have mixed feelings about this because I know that they are trying to go for, the, when you're using a bolt action sniper rifle, it's going to only give you one shot, one kill if you get a headshot. And I do like this system because it's going to actually promote using the the bolt-action sniper rifles as they're intended to be. Uh, this is also kind of stirring a lot of buzz on the internet because a lot of people believe that if you do get shot in the chest by a bolt-action sniper rifle, you know, pretty much in any range, it should be a kill. I mean, they're probably going to die in real life. Uh, but DICE is going, you know, they're trying to balance the game and they really do not want bolt-action sniper rifles to be like a shotgun. They want it to be, you know, that long-range rifle, which is, which is what it's supposed to be. And they are pr trying to give players uh, the tools and weapons to actually play as, as an aggressive recon, but you're not going to actually be able to use the rifle or the bolt action rifles to actually do that. Um, so as for the marksman bonus, I kind of went off on a tangent there. Uh, like I said, I'm not really sure how I like it, as long as they don't really give you a ridiculous bonus for getting that extremely long shot, I think I will be cool with it, just because, you know, promoting or giving bonuses to those long shots just promotes, you know, camping and far distant areas where players really are not trying to go for the objective they're only really trying to go for those you know those epic shots and that really doesn't help the game it doesn't really help your teammates out so i'm interested to see how far this bonus will go and to see how it's implemented um another thing i thought was very cool is apparently the mcom stations in battlefield 3 you're not actually going to be able to take out the building or I don't even think they're going to be in buildings that you're actually going to be able to take out and destroy completely like in Bad Company 2. So if you actually want to take out the MCOM station, you're going to have to plant the bomb and make sure that it actually goes off. Um, I actually like this because in Bad Company 2, it was a really cool concept, you know, using your environment and, use, and using destruction to your advantage and taking out the MCOM station that way. But it just ran into, 
you know, difficulties because people would abuse it. It would just make it very frustrating for defenders who are, you know, defending it well, but people are just firing rockets at a building, trying to take out the building and not actually go for the MCOMs. Well, they're going for the MCOM station, but it just kind of seemed like a cheap way to actually win the game. And so I'm kind of glad to see that they are not going to have that in Battlefield 3. It'll make people actually have to go to the MCOM station and plant the bomb, and there won't be that abuse like in Bad Company 2. Uh, so this about wraps up the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Just some cool Twitter news that I thought you guys would like. If you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could give it a rating. And also, if you'd like to uh, be notified of new videos from me, make sure to check out my channel and subscribe, and also follow me on Twitter. But until next time, everyone, have a good one, and take it easy.